find the value of x and y if 2 raised to power a minus 3 minus 2 raised to power b minus 3 is equal to 5 or 4, where a and b are positive integer. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In today's class, we want to find the value of a and b from this given equation where a and b are positive integer. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have 2 raised to the power a minus 3 minus 2 raised to the power b minus 3 equal to 504. Then remember, if you have s raised to the power n, plus m is the same thing as s raised to the power n multiplied by s raised to the power m. Therefore, our equation becomes 2 raised to the power a multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus 3 minus 2 raised to the power b multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus 3 equal to 504. Therefore, we have 2 raised to the power a over 2 raised to the power 3 minus 2 raised to the power b over 2 raised to the power 3 equal to 504. Remember, 2 raised to the power 3 equal to what? 8. Therefore, our equation becomes 2 raised to the power a over 8 minus 2 raised to the power b over 8 equal to 504. Let's multiply all through by 8. Then we have 8 multiplied by 2 raised to the power a over 8 minus 8 multiplied by 2 raised to the power b over 8 equal to 504 multiplied by 8. This one will cancel this. This one will cancel this. Then we have 2 raised to the power a minus 2 raised to the power b equal to 4032 that is 504 times 8 then remember that a minus b is greater than 0 therefore a is greater than what b and we say let a equal to b plus k since we said a and b are positive integer we said let a equal to b plus k. So anywhere you see a, you put b plus k there. Then we have 2 raised to the power b plus k minus 2 raised to the power b equal to 4, 0, 3, 2. Then we have 2 raised to the power b multiply by 2 raised to the power k minus 2 raised to the power b equal to 4, 0, 3, 2. Now, but 4, 0, 3, 2 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power 6 multiplied by 60, 3. Therefore, we have 2 raised to the power b Multiply by 2 raised to the power k minus 2 raised to the power b equal to 2 raised to the power 6 multiplied by 63. Then our left hand side become 2 raised to the power b is common here. We have 2 raised to the power b here. Therefore, let's factor it out. We have 2 raised to the power b into 2 raised to the power k minus 1 equal to 2 raised to the power 6 multiply by 63. Now from here, here is even, this one is odd, this one is even, and this one is odd. Now let's compare the two. We have 2 raised to power b equal to 2 raised to power 6 or 2 raised to the power k minus 1 equal to 63. Then from here, we have 2 raised to the power b 
take out your storage of our six. You have the same base. This one will cancel this. Then B equal to six. We've gotten the value of B to be six. Also from here, we have two raised to the power K minus one equal to 60 T. Therefore, we have two raised to the power K it be equal to 60 T plus one. Then two raised to the power K equal to 64. But 64 can be expressed as two times two times two times two times two times two two times two four four times two eight eight times two sixteen sixteen times two thirty two thirty two times two that is sixty four therefore we have two raised to the power k equal to two raised to the power six then this one will cancel this we have the same base our k equal to what six we've also gotten the value of k to be six now we know that we said a equal to b plus k and b equal to what six k equal to six therefore a is now equal to is now equal to six plus six therefore of a is equal to what 12 you know the value of a to be 12 and the question says we should find the value of a and b where a and b are positive integer therefore our final answer is a equal to 12 y b equal to 6 if you have enjoyed the class please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe Thank you.